Hi everyone, I hope you like doing the um, first principle stuff on sine and cos. Right, let's have a go at this now. We have done this before, not specifically this, but I think we did it to sine to the minus one. So if we follow the same for right, same format, so I've got tan to the minus one of x, rearrange it, tan y is equal to x. So if I write it as x equals tan y, I can differentiate it, so x becomes a dx, I've got y on the other side, I know that if I differentiate tan, it becomes secant squared y, there. I know that secant is 1 over cos, um, do I have to do that? Yeah, I'll just flip it first. No, I'm, yeah, I don't really matter. It doesn't matter which way around I do it. What I want to do is rewrite it as 1 over a secant squared. So if I flip it, it's 1 over a secant squared. Um, yeah, that's where I want to be. I was going to do something else, but I'm not. I'm going to stick it like that, because I can do something else now. Now I've got, from sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1, if you remember, now I've got a secant squared which I want to replace, which is a 1 over cos squared. If I divide this by cos squared, I get sine squared over cos squared is tan squared. Cos squared over cos squared is 1. 1 over cos squared is secant squared. So what I can do is replace the, oh it's a y, oh, look at that, there's a y there. I can replace the tan squared y, please make sure that's a 1 and not an x because it messes everything up. There. So all I did was just turn it upside down, didn't I? So I can replace the secant squared with 1 plus tan squared and just make sure I put a y down for this. There. There. So if you look what I've done, I've got a dx by dy with secant squared y. Flipped it, accidentally put an x there, that's no good. And then if I use the fact that x is tan y, then x squared is tan squared. So dy by dx is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And this is one of those ones where it was always in the book but never really tested. It always came out in further maths. Uh, but it's just in case they do, right, because so there'll be a question in the papers where there's an error in it, and you just have to follow the maths rule and find the error. So it's good doing these because it helps you find that. Now there's another one here for cos 2x. Oof, look at that with a minus 2 and a 4. Uh, I'm going to reveal this. Please try and follow it. It's not that easy, he says. Uh, and then I think it's questions then. Yay, questions. Right, we'll stop now. Bye-bye.